Hello, welcome to Astro Breeze Weekly Transits. And this week we've got an interesting week as usual. There seems to be more interesting weeks one after another. But we are coming off of our um, full moon. Yesterday was the full moon in Capricorn. Actually, let me go back a day so you can see that. So you'll see the moon is in Capricorn. And um, this, if, if you notice, this will be the last time that we're going to see the moon in Capricorn with Pluto in Capricorn. <laughs> so we have a, a Capricorn full moon with Pluto being in Capricorn because it will, you know, that when next year Pluto will be into Aquarius. So this is interesting. We've got a lot of moon uh, aspects this week. I mean, the moon is always making tons of aspects. But there's kind of some interesting ones, um, but this one is uh, is kicking off of uh, kicking off our week. So we're coming off of this full moon. Let me get back to today. Happy Fourth of July! If you're listening to it today, otherwise, Happy Fourth of July anyway. <laughs> um, so we're we're coming into this week with that full moon, and you know we're we're reaping what we started a few weeks ago, and we're you know finishing up this in Capricorn. So we you know we're taking that structure to heart we're taking that seriousness where that that maturity and um, working on on moving that forward so a lot of this you know any of these old structures that don't seem to be working anymore are i've got to go you know the the you know we've got to get rid of stuff for our new visions to take manifest and not everything needs to be put in place we just have to have that the inkling and, and get going on it so today on the fourth, we've got, you know, a lot of moon aspects. The moon will, will pretty much be making a lot through the day because we've got, if you remember, we've got, you know, a, the fixed sign deal going on. <laughs> we've got now the moon in Aquarius. We have Venus and Mars in Leo. And we have this little, still little grouping in Taurus. We've got um, the North Node jupiter and uranus so we've got kind of this t-square going on so the moon moves on you know this is at 4 30 p.m but you know the moon over the for the next couple days will go through all of the degrees of that sign so it's at one degree you know at this time that i selected and it will make that square over to the north node and then a little later on it'll make that square over to jupiter and then it'll go over to Uranus because that's at 21 degrees and then it'll go to 23 it'll start making that opposition to Venus and Mars all right nonetheless you know we've got we've got some of that to handle <clears throat> the day whizzes by and we have this moon kicking off a t-square there could be some tempers there could be some uh struggles you know if people or families are getting together on this day there could be you know, some fixed sign standoffs. <laughs> Expect that stuff with the fixed signs. But anyway, um, that that's just part of the <laughs> part of the situation. All right, so let's move on because some other interesting events start to un unwind over the week. We can see here just though at you know the top of the chart, just because it's here. Um, Venus and Mars are um, are there in Leo, and Venus is slowing down. You know, we, we remember Venus is going to go retrograde and that's going to be the theme for a while and she's not going to get out of this area till like October so we're going to have Venus in that Leo energy I just wanted to reiterate that while it's there so we have that soft Venus in that you know fiery fierceness <laughs> um so the lady's got to go to battle you know that feminine side has got to you know it's going to be in that masculine uh, from the heart, generous, outward, look at me sign. So that's going to be going on for a while. So we all have to get in into that side of us, you know, that that Venusian side that's a little bit more feisty, fiery, and of the heart, you know, and um, sticking up with gumption for what's right on lots of levels. So, all right, we are Wednesday. So Wednesday's, um, you know, we've got the those those the lunar things happening and then let's go to Thursday. Um, Thursday, you know, we've got interesting, you know, moon will square Uranus and then it'll oppose Venus. But then we've got an interesting Mars uh, 
quincunx or in conjunct Neptune. Now, that one is something about feeling we've got Mars, your energy going forward. And then, you know, the, the in conjuncts or the quincunx aspects are annoying. They're aggravating. So it with, you know, Mars wanting to go forward with Neptune, you know, nebulous Neptune, you may be some discouragement and doubt. There may be something you might be trying to um, second guess yourself or you need to take like, how do I say it? Take a reflection on your past things and how you handled stuff and the choices that you made so you can make a better choice. So Neptune is giving you that reflection of the past. Mars is like you can't really move forward without maybe taking a little looky-see at where you've been. Just get a little synopsis and like, all right, I got to do this before I move forward. <clears throat> but also be aware that during this period, we got, again, Mars in a, in a bad aspect or a hard aspect to Neptune. So you may be more susceptible to deceit or taking some dishonest actions or you, that may come across, you know, it's like your energy wanting to move forward and be like, hey, psst, come here, off the path. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> so it, it's, an un, it's crucial to understand that those actions will just lead to more pain and confusion in the future. So instead, you know, keep your, your energy focused on, you know, conserving your energy and avoiding confrontations. Bite your tongue a little bit. Also, your energy might feel a little depleted um, because you have to find the courage to confront your fears and address any unresolved issues. Yeah, a lot going on. All right, but last thing about it, by taking the time to reflect about this and making a conscious choice, you can navigate through any challenge that this aspect with a lot more integrity and clarity. Very, very, very important. That's probably the biggest thing going on Thursday. So it, it's kind of like building up to that. So right now to that, that confusion diffusion <laughs> coming up. All right, Friday. We got another couple of interesting. Uh, we got Neptune. I mean, we've got a Mercury aspects and we got Mars aspects, a lot of them this week. So then we're going to, you know, we had a Mars one. Now we're going to flip over to a Mercury one. And you'll see <clears throat> Mercury, if I got lined up at 23 degrees, and it's making a sextile over to, well, let me just go back just a hair. Oop, because it's moving fast. There we go. Yeah. It's kind of late Thursday that it happens, um, and then it, it you know, just depends on where you are. But I'm going to start it here because it actually starts on Thursday, and it moves into Friday, depending on where you are on the planet. But here we got Mercury 21 Cancer and making that hard or making that, I'm sorry, that sextile, that um, nice sextile aspect over to Uranus. So we have a good conversation going between these two planets. What does that mean? So Mars sextile Uranus, it's like your desire to have fun and excitement increases. You know, we've got that upsetting or unusual Uranus and then Mars with that energy. So it's like, come on, let's go to the, you know, let's go drive some fast cars. Let's go to the, you know, do some crazy rides. <laughs> but it's the perfect time to make changes because they'll happen quickly and pretty smoothly. Um, any you know the extra initiation and inspiration and motivation are great for start for making a start on anything complex um, that you might have been putting off so you may not finish it now but you can get the bar the ball rolling you know mars is that energy and you might get you know a wild hair up your butt to go do some so getting started is sometimes the hardest step but take advantage of that impulsive mars energy um relation in relationships too it can benefit so maybe you'll attract people who are somehow different or who may be from another race or culture or eccentric. Also, on the other hand, however, no, on the other hand, it could be a good time to break away from relationships that limit your self-expression or freedom. So this also applies to jobs or other things holding you back from success and happiness. This is like a couple things, you know, the last one that Mars in conjunct um, Neptune, it was similar. Yeah, all right. Let's look at, let's go forward here. We looked at Friday, um, more moon aspects on Friday. And what's interesting, um, a couple of things. Here we see Venus very, way slowing down. She just went to 24, <laughs> but going way, way, way slow. Uh, not a whole lot other than the moon triggering a few things. Um, this day we've got, you know, the moon where we pointed out here. 
the moon was cut, you know, earlier in that day or early Thursday or Friday, it will, you know, conjunct Saturn. So there could be a little dourness, you know, when it's going over there. If you're feeling, you know, early in the day, again, depending where you're at in the planet, you know, but, you know, when the moon is in Pisces, it's going to go over Saturn first. So it might be, I always find it's kind of a little bit sad or a little bit um, dour, downer. <laughs> But then it'll it'll pass over that and then the day will pick up and then it won't make another aspect. I mean, it, it'll make lots through the day, but um, when it's the next day it gets over to Neptune, we've got some more kind of uh, maybe deceptive energy coming up again. So we've got a few thing, themes coming this week. <clears throat> but then it also is going to sextile Jupiter. You know, is it, you know, it, well, you can see it goes a few things by degree, but it'll make that because we've got that those sextiles there. And then it'll also trine over to the sun because we've got, you know, water sign, water sign. <clears throat> so that'll be good. It'll be just an you know, interesting couple of days. But coming into Saturday, Saturday and Sunday, we've got, you know, the, we were, da, 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 da. see, there's, a, okay, then the moon was earlier, it was making that trine, but then it goes into Aries and once it gets through there was we will have some of those um where do i want to show you um it'll be making you know square over to pluto that's you know the moon's aspect um it will conjunct over to chiron chiron is that you know the wounded healer so maybe some emotional wound healing from the past will come up on saturday as well it's a big deal all right but then See if I can get this lined up for you on Sunday, Sunday, Sunday into Monday, Sunday, Sunday. We've got some interesting ones. We've got Mars right at the end, at the end of, of Leo, you know, and that's in the, and it's in the regulus part of the sky, you know, it's in the, that area. And it's also on Donald Trump's ascendant. <clears throat> so this will be interesting. So Mars will be at that 29th degree of Leo, and it will be making that uh, Queen Conx to uh, Pluto. So we've had a lot of, you know, we're going to have a lot of these um, Queen Conx are in conjunct. Queen Conx is the more correct term throughout the whole month, actually, a lot of them. So the, remember, those are adjustment. <clears throat> those are things that are hard to to manage or, to, you know, it's just, they don't fit. But um, we've got several aspects that day. But the first one that, that's coming up that I want to tell you about is that in conjunct, <laughs> that Queen Conx. So Mars over to Pluto. <clears throat> You've got both of those harsh planets. And when it's in that hard aspect, you're going to have, in, there'll be more of like an intense longing to maybe achieve your most potential and passionate desires, you know, go into the depths of something. You may become more assertive and competitive as you strive to get what you want, which can, you know, sometimes cause a little resistance, maybe strong resistance from other people, reducing your chances of victory. So careful with that <laughs> you know handle it a little more diplomatically so rushing ahead in too many directions is is harder to succeed any any one thing the key to success here is deciding on a single goal listening to advice and developing an informed opinion will improve your decision making skills then you can draw on extra courage and willpower to succeed so resorting to manipulative controlling or deceptive tactics will only harm you in the long run I shouldn't even have to say that, but it's, it's there, you know, we've got these odd things that come up. And sometimes if you just have it in the back of your head, you'd be like, yeah, I remember. So impulses and lapses and judgment can lead you to make mistakes and accidents. So just slow it down. Um, you might become interested also in political, social, or environmental activism. This could be an interesting day. There could be some shoes dropping, some information, more things coming out that are going to, you know, PO you, you know, finding out where you've been duped, where we've all been duped, you know, it's going to make us, make us upset. So there'll be a tendency to rebel against the power and authority that, that, that comes up. It's like, who's behind this? Who is doing this? And that's what's, I think, going to be the one really, one real big thing that's going to get people riled up. So that's going to be happening like Sunday. And then we'll also have, that was a Mars, you know, the Mars one. <laughs> But then we also have a, a Mercury, where does it go by the sun? Mercury, right here, 27 Mercury over to Neptune, 27. 
got another um, interesting. This is a trine now. So we've got water sign to water sign. So Mercury, trine, Neptune. This is cool because it stimulates your creativity, your imagination, your sensitivity, and in your spirituality. It's not such a good time for reading the, prime, the, the fine print of things or studying facts. So be careful about that. You might want to um, save signing something for next day because your mind is going to be ready to dream or fantasize. Okay, we got anything with Neptune, you, you know, it's, it's just going to be off the rails like that. So, um, or it, it could obscure things too, but it also increases your sensitivity um, to different things. Vibrational energy it makes a good time for working on anything involving harmonics, uh, music, dance, dramatic acting. <laughs> um, communication skills would benefit from non from a non threatening, caring, or soft in, soft type of influence. Your sensual attractiveness. People want to listen to you, especially in person. Um, your senses could be fine tuned because you know this is sort of a psychic uh, aspect, right? We've got that trine between Mercury communications and Neptune, that um, nebulous behind the scenes. So you can communicate more effectively, maybe non-verbally through gestures, your eyes, telepathically. Any psychic abilities will be enhanced. Your intuition will be stronger and accurate. It's also a good time for reading about subjects that you don't have to remember and endless facts or tiny details. See, that's not going to be good for that. It helps you see and feel the big picture. It's getting you the big feel. So you you can get more into understanding abstract theories, you know, of or politics or religion and getting that big aha behind things before you drill down into tiny details. So that's really important that that's going on. Because Monday, we got a few other things going on. We'll end this up with, with a few interesting things this week. So we've got, let's, before I get, well, a couple of things. <laughs> you see Mars, it moves into Virgo right here. So we got a whole different, I'm going to go, I'm going to hit that one last. I'll, I'll show you somewhere that has some good info on that. But then um, you know, we got the moon moving into Taurus that day. You can see it's 28 degrees here, but if I go, just go a few hours, it's just nice to see it. Moon, there we go. All right, so moon's in Taurus. It'll start, it'll start off there in Taurus. Um, so um, the reason I wanted to do that because I wanted you to emphasize the earthiness of this time now, you know, and then be, and does it, as they both get near the end of that area, they'll, you know, have to meet up with Pluto, which is still in Capricorn. So we have, you know, as the moon will hit it, you know, in another day and a half there, um, it'll make that trine over to Pluto. And um, yeah, but anyway, I, I digress. So anyway, we got this day, we've got a Mercury opposite Pluto. So, you know, we see Mercury there is, I got it, it's 29, you know, because it's Mercury is going to change signs too. Uh, Mercury 29 uh, Cancer opposite the moon there so let's look at mercury opposite pluto so we got again uh, a hard aspect we got mercury communication pluto depth so maybe some depth in communications i think this might be a perfect day for a lot of things to be coming out in the news a lot of reveals um you know the, the stuff that that's been on uh like joe rogan that the D joe rogan show that's been hitting millions and millions and almost like a billion views the uh i'm not going to get into it totally but some of the the more recent things that he's had on there's been some really good reveals more of that i think is coming a lot more of that but anyway mercury opposite pluto also creates a battle of ideas within your mind or between competitors so this is what we got going on you know there is a tendency under this transit to put on blinker to put our um it's like we're going to hone in on a particular problem, you know, because we're it's opposite Pluto. We've got that depth. We've got the communication. We're going to just like the tattletale um, aspect. It's a good time for research, investigation, uncovering secrets. There you go. Uncovering secrets. Mom, look what he's doing. <laughs> so we got an intense buildup of mental energy requiring an outlet ranging from occult studies to fierce debates and arguments. The most positive manifestation of this transit would be psychological self-analysis or relationship counseling. Although opinions may be extreme now, there may be also the promise of positive transformation in your thinking as more profound levels of understanding are reached. That's good. However, <laughs> there are several more negative scenarios to be aware of. 
This transit favors subversive tactics such as propaganda, mind control, threats, intimidation, and other forms of psychological abuse. You should be wary of being talked into things under pressure. Mm -hmm, right there, underline, highlight that. Remember I'm saying this. Due to a tendency to become intrigued or obsessed with a particular idea. Watch that. Abusing your mental powers may result in temporary gains and inflated feelings of superiority, but in the long run, such tactics would backfire. This is another theme all week. So you've just got to stay away from the bad or the dark side. So the truth may be hidden today by secrecy or propaganda, and it's reasonable not to take anything at face value. Investigate both sides. Look and see what's coming out. All right. Now, the big, the big deal, I think a big one's coming up here. It's like if I just go... Let me how long there. Okay, so look, Mars moves into Virgo, oh, and I didn't get the uh, Mercury yet. Let's get Mercury. Mercury goes into Leo. So both go about the same time, not too far apart. That's pretty interesting. They both change signs. Okay, so let's look at Mars. Um, and I just want to share this one with you. So with, actually, I'm going to just a little bit communicate this one first. Mercury. Mercury moving into Leo. So we've got, you know, Mercury there, that communication, that that mental, and it's going to be moving into that fire sign. You know, it's the beginning of that fire sign with the communication. So Mercury there is going to join the pack. You know, it's it's going to go, um, you know, it'll meet up with, with um, Venus and then it'll go over. Well, we'll see because it's going to hit retrograde soon. But anyway, we'll have that loud mouth, uh, <laughs> the loud mouth aspect. You know, we've got... Uh, Mercury, the communication with Leo aspects on stage, look at me, watch me, you know, and then with Venus there still staying there, that's going to be a really a, a, a look at me, watch me kind of aspect. So that's going to be heating up. And it also could be bringing out a lot of truths from the heart, a childlike innocence of, of you know, revealing things it's like um, the emperor has no clothes, you know, that book. Um, that's that's kind of the thing that'll be going on but i want to share something else with you new share all right if you go over to cafe astrology they have some interesting things um give you some of the transits here's july 10th mars enters virgo mars enters virgo from july 10th to about august 27th in Virgo, Mars is somewhat of a workhorse. We have a passion for details as well as a need to do the right thing at just the right time under this influence. The satisfaction of a job well done. Uh, we are more precise and concerned about performance. Think about Mars, that energy into being exacting, fussy, um, pragmatic, detail-oriented Virgo. It's really nitpicky, energy to be nitpicky. <laughs> We're more exacting and concerned with correctness and details in our work, output, or efforts. It's a time of greater caution, skepticism, and discipline. We tend to focus on details and plans, sometimes losing sight of the big picture. There can be perfectionist or workaholic street. We have a greater interest in excelling or mastering a particular skill. So this would be good to do for this time to master or focus in on a particular skill. Science and health are most appealing. This transit highlights work with details or requiring precision, such as surgery, bookkeeping, crafts, musical instruments. Good time to learn a technical instrument. You know, look at the, learn the guitar, learn, you know, how to play the flute. Um, yeah, it also spotlights attention to health and nutrition, the healing arts because of Virgo, you know, those are all Virgo things. So we got the energy Mars to get into health. We got the energy to get, you know, take our supplements to get a good nutritional program to get started on an exercise program and stick with it. Um, you know, getting things, uh, it says here, what else, uh, great interest in how things work, techniques, mechanics, and systems. It can be a time of irritability, tension, and nervousness. You know, that Virgo <laughs> and Mars, all that extra, you know, energy. And then it just, uh, you can imagine. Attention to detail uh, and technique is it tremendous. Although our vision or confidence may suffer if we limit ourselves. There can be competitive or inflamed situations with coworkers, work, routines, or healthcare. All right. So this, um, that that's on... Uh, 
let me show you. that's on uh, astrology cafe astrology sorry couldn't do two things at once so interesting week a few ch sign changes some odd energies there's watch out for the whole deceptive thing that to come up in, in a few ways we've got energy to clear out stuff from the past you know kicking off from this new moon i mean the full moon it just happened and getting clearing those things out so we can make room for the new take you know take use of this energy this is a good this is a good week to to get all that happening all right thanks for listening and see you all next week bye for now